Hey, so listen, have you, Amaris, where are you, by the way? I'm at Beaver Hall. Awesome, man. And Joanna, where are you? I'm in my apartment at State College. Yeah. Have you ever taken a genetics test, a DNA um, test? No, I've always wanted to. Okay, well, you can do it in, in this class. We're gonna, I'm going to let you know when they're half price. Amaris, have you ever? No, I want to. Do, yeah. Joanna, how do you, what's your ancestry? Um, I am on both sides of my family, um, like Pennsylvania German, uh -huh. um, from like the 1870s, I guess. But my grandfather on my mom's side is very tan, and that's where like I get my skin tone from. Yeah. And so we've always been interested, like where that comes from. Yeah, dude, you never know. Amaris, how about you? What's your What's your background? What's your ancestry? Black American. Black American. So is you, you have ancestors like in the South? Um, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, and where are you from? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. All right. So listen, how many racial groups are there? Let me ask all four of you really fast. How many racial groups are there in the world? Go ahead, Gigi, your first answer. First answer. Okay. Um, like, there's so many. There's so yeah. many. All right. While you're thinking about it, Bella, how about you? I have no clue. Like 40 or is that 40? All right. 40? Joanna, how about you? We'll just take 40. I would say like probably 50. Amaris? This is way different than their numbers. But I'm going to say 600. When you think about the number of racial groups in the world, you think about – what what would what it would mean to be a racial group is somewhere in with all these arrows and they're tr going all in these different directions like see up here or around and then here and here and then ultimately like and then you you know you have here and down in the philippines and so on and so forth and then crossing over and so like it would mean that at some point in time people had to stop and establish groups on the basis of their physical characteristics and cultural characteristics, right? So, but race groups are physical characteristics, right? Cultural ethnic groups are cultural characteristics. So when we think about race, we're thinking about biology. And when we're thinking about culture, we're thinking about, uh, or we're thinking about ethnicity, we're thinking about culture. And so when we say, well, how, what's the number of race groups? It means that people with, had to stop along the way somewhere and then stay stationary at a certain amount of time to share genetic, their genetic admixture, to have a unique admixture to be a group that could be somehow self-contained or somehow some, some sort of collectivity, right? Some sort of group that would be a singular racial group that would be distinct from the next one. So like a group that stopped right here would have to be different than a group that stopped right here and a group that stopped right here. So if you say like 40 or 50 or 600 or 601 or whatever, it means that there have to be distinct groups around the world that are contained. They have something about them that's really unique. So now I'm gonna go back and say, how many racial groups are there in the world? One. <laughs> No, not one, right? There's one, there's people talk about there's one, there's only one human race. It's like, no, no, there's one species. There's a human species. Race is a subcategory of species. So, but one is a good answer. So what's the, what's the office? What's the, what's then is the inverted answer? Like an infinite number. Dude, exactly. Yeah. You can't count it because there's no way to count. There's no way to like distinguish. So then you'd get like Gigi, right? People talk about the Puerto, I hear people talk about the Puerto Rican race, but Gigi, you're part of the Puerto Rican race, right? You, you have Indian blood, the indigenous blood of the, the original peoples of, of, that were living in Puerto Rico in pre-Columbian times, right? Pre-Columbian meaning before Columbus. Then Puerto Rico was also a slave port, which so we have lots of Africans in Puerto Rico. And you have some black blood, right? Although for whatever reason, your white, your, your white skin color was the one that really got pushed out in your admixture, but you're 15% sub-Saharan African. So you're like, you have, you share more with Amaris than, than Bella shares with Amaris, even though Bella is brown, right? You clearly are brown, but like you don't share, you share probably very little 
DNA with Amaris, but Gigi, you do, right? So now you're watching. Like, so I was, I didn't realize I was looking at. So Gigi, you see that like you and Amaris are more, you share more admixture, right? In that sense. So, okay, so here, let me show you something, right? So here's th the growth of human population. So at some point, it's very small, very few human beings on earth. And at some point in time, in this, in, in this whole region, right in here, popu people didn't move very much at all. People were situated in different areas of the world or going back to that map. Don't, you don't have to put the map up, but going back to the map where like they were actually able to, um, we're able to isolate certain genetic markers that only exist in certain parts of the world. So we actually put the map up really fast. So like wherever, wherever you go, we, we, we collect DNA from people and population groups, and we try to find markers that only exist in these particular population groups, whatever they are, right? So that you get a marker like right in here that doesn't exist anywhere else, doesn't exist here, doesn't exist here, doesn't exist here anywhere. And so we start to find those markers. And then we take, we, we take DNA from people and we try to see like what percentage of them comes from different areas of the world. What, what did your test show? For which one? <laughs> the 23 and me. Yeah. So you're well, like 15% black. Yeah. I, I actually like pulled it up because I got curious when you were talking about it. Um, so it's 65% um, European, uh -huh. like a bunch of different ones. And then 12% uh, East Asian, Native American, 9.7% Sub-Saharan African, Okay, so 9%, right? Okay. Yeah, 4.2 Western Asian and Northern African, and then like 9% unassigned. <laughs> yeah. And Bella, how and you, you were? 28% Southern Philippines, 22% English, 19% Northern Philippines, 10% Northern Italy, 6% Scotland, 6% German, 3% Ireland, and then just like some random yeah. 1%. So, so here's mine. That That's very cool. So like the two of your, this is mine right here, for example. I'm like 97.8% European, both Southern European and mostly Northern European. But I also, if we look over here, um, have um, like almost 2% um, Sub-Saharan African and and West Asian North North African right West Asian is like the Middle East right so and then you know unassigned so it's like this is so it, so all of us have many people have this right because this is the nature of it like if you look at my ancestry you see that it goes back we see where it goes to but um, clearly mostly European, but somewhere in there, somebody like jumped ships, so to speak, right? Somebody had some kind of relationship with someone from Africa. And my family's from the Virginia, lots of family from Virginia, Maryland. So that's not uncommon at all.